Welcome to the Almond product tutorial series. My name is Ethan Erdkamp. I am an Almond engineer. In this tutorial video, I will go over the operation of how to set up, start, and shut down your unit. Today, I'm going to cover the Maxi Heat 1 million BTU mobile heater. Step one, transport the mobile heater to the work site. Properly and safely position the mobile heater trailer on a solid level surface. Do not set up the heater trailer on an incline of more than 5%. Do not set up the heater trailer on unlevel or unstable ground. Step 2. Put wheel chocks against the front and rear of each wheel. Step 3. Deploy the tongue jack. Make sure that the heater trailer is level front to back. Remove the jack locking pin, rotate the tongue jack into the operating position and install the jack locking pin fully through the top and bottom holes of the jack and tongue. Unfold the crank handle. Turn the jack handle clockwise to lower the jack foot and raise the front of the heater trailer. Step 4. Open the engine compartment door. Remove the dipstick from the engine and examine the engine oil level. The engine oil level should be between the full and add marks on the dipstick. Add oil if necessary. Check the engine coolant recovery bottle. Keep engine coolant in the recovery bottle between one third and two thirds full. Remove the radiator cap, check the engine coolant level, and replenish as necessary. Set the main circuit breaker to the on position. Step five, do a check of the fuel gauges on the control panel and add fuel as needed. Step six, open the heater unit access doors and turn on the heater unit fuel valves to the open position, parallel with the fuel line. Step seven, open the heater outlet doors, install the correct ducting to the heater outlet cones. Each heater outlet can have the following diameter ducting sizes. Two 12 inch, single 16 inch, or single 20 inch. Ducting can be easily stored in the duct storage box at the front of the unit. For more information on ducting installation, refer to the operator's manual. Step 8. Remove the air inlet covers. Push in the spring pin on the side of the cover to remove. Ducting can be installed to the air inlets, but is not necessary. Step 9. Notice the heater units will not operate unless the heater outlet doors are open and the air inlet covers are removed. Step 10. Start the heater unit. Open the control panel door. Start the engine. Turn the engine control panel on off switch to the on position. Push the on button on the deep sea control module two times. Look at the home screen on the heater electronic controller to see the air damper setting. Then adjust the air dampers on the heater units to match the setting. Loosen the wing nut on the right side of the damper. Move the pointer to the setting shown on the heater unit display. Tighten the wing nut. Note, the barometric pressure sensor automatically displays what the air damper setting should be. Close the heater unit access doors. Press the IQ button on the home screen to open the screen for the heater units. Press the heater start button for each heater unit on the screen to begin run operation. The burners of each heater unit will cycle through a purge step and a warming step prior to being fully operational. Step 11. All units are equipped with an emergency stop above the control panel that will immediately shut down the entire unit in case of an emergency. Step 12. Close the engine compartment door. Step 13. Close the control panel door. Step 14. The mobile heater is now in operation for the work site. For more information on your Maxi Heat 1 million BTU, scan the QR code on the control panel to access the product operations webpage on the Almond website. To shut down the heater units, press the heater stop button for each heater unit on the screen to begin shutdown operation. The burners of each heater unit will go through a cooldown cycle prior to completely shutting down. The screen will display the heater units with the heater start buttons when the cooldown cycle is complete. Notice the heater unit must go through a cooldown cycle before shutting down. Shutting down the engine or closing the heater outlet doors before the cooldown cycle completes could result in damage to the heater unit. Step 2. Shut down the engine. Push the off button on the deep sea control module. Turn the engine control panel on off switch to the off position. Step 3. Remove any ducting from the heater outlet and air inlet connections. Place ducting in duct storage box. Step four, reinstall air inlet covers. Step five, make sure that the engine compartment, heater unit compartment, and control panel doors are closed and latched. Step six, remove the wheel chocks. Step seven, the unit is now ready for transport. 